Good morning, friends. Today is Saturday, the 29th of April. I've been up since about half six, and I'm currently just having my coffee on the couch watching some Peyton. It's Saturday, which means there's yoga today. I might walk because um, the weather's nice, but we have a dilemma. And this has happened to me the last few times that I've been to Anguilla or been anywhere where it's like really, really hot and I've been laying out. Um, and I'm going to show it to you. I'm turning into a lizard. This is the state of my legs right now. And it's because I was laying out in the sun. Now, of course, I always wear SPF and always try to stay as hydrated as possible. I exfoliate every day with a mitt, but this always happens when I'm exposed to like extreme heat for prolonged periods of time. So what we're gonna do in this vlog is I'm gonna show you my like post sun body care. I do this here because our summer's here, we're even getting hotter and I do get a little bit sunburned here. But when I'm in, in Anguilla, I tend to be a bit more careful so I don't really get burnt, but I do, sometimes get a little bit tender and this has started happening so yeah we're going to do a little post on body care situation i'm going to show you what i use oh it's a bank holiday we have three bank holidays this month because king charles is having his coronation on the weekend i don't really have much news to share or much to update you on since i've been back i haven't really done much i've gone to a few press days here and there and i've forgotten to vlog everything of course so we're starting a fresh new vlog then we'll see what we get up to this weekend. So we're gonna tackle the scaly legs <laughs> with this first. I'm sure you can see the dead skin coming off, which is disgusting. I'm doing this to kind of like, uh, what's the word? Break up any dead skin. If you can hear a cat meowing, um, we're looking up the Bori and he's not allowed in the bedroom because I'm allergic to cats. <laughs> so. He's crying because he can hear me talking. Right. That's step number one. All right, guys, bear with me. I am backlit, but the sun's behind me. Yoga was incredible, like really physically challenging class, but I really enjoyed it. And now I've walked home from Shoreditch. So I just walked through Victoria Park and I wanted to like get some shots because it's such a nice day, but there's so many people around. Like the whole park is covered in people. There's barely any spots where like no one's sitting. And so I didn't want to encroach on anyone's privacy. But there are people out with their shirts off and it's really nice, but it's not that warm. <laughs> it feels very British outside right now. But what a nice spring day. I'm gonna go home, change, and then me and John are gonna go for a walk and have a drink somewhere outside, which is also what everyone else seems to have done. But we've got a few spots up our sleeves, so hopefully it won't be too busy. But look how pretty the blossoms are. So pretty. All right, let's go. Hey friends, back home on the couch. 
we went for a walk and we stopped at a tap room and had a little drinky poo and then we had another little stroll home my hair is a mess because my roots desperately need doing as you can see and i've had a headband on i've also had a migraine for four days it's finally shifting so please excuse this situation uh let's look at the legs okay this is what my legs are looking like two days post deep exfoliation and shave as you can see still some dry skin and scaliness but it's much better what i've been doing is using a bit of my face toner when i finished toning my face i just use the leftovers on my legs and that's also been helping this bit's a little bit crisp extra crispy because i just scratched there but overall looking much better i'm gonna do some figures for a little high little low right now if you guys haven't heard the news yet i am now ceo of little high little low i've been working with them for a long time rebecca and i are great friends and all i wear is little high little low every day pretty much so yeah, I'm now COO of the brand and it's really exciting. So I'm going to look at some numbers today. Let me show you what Bori's owners bought me because we had him for the last few days and I'm super chuffed with this. They bought me a gift from Paris, so let me show you. I don't know if you recognise the box, but it's from La Dure in Paris. Yes, I've already opened, hence the distressed looking tissue paper. Guys, they bought me macarons. I'm so excited. These are so beautiful. I almost don't even want to eat them because they're so pretty. I'm for sure going to eat that one first, the vanilla one. Um, I might have to share these with the guys at Disciple because ah, they're so beautiful. Hi, friends. Happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, the 9th of May and i have been shocking at picking up the camera so i'm gonna cook because i've been cooking a lot i'm gonna make some sea bass i'm gonna flour it fry it up and then serve it with boiled potatoes and like a herby brown butter situation with anchovies and capers and i'm gonna show you guys how i do it really early and I'm in Soho. As I was saying, it's busy. I'm on my way to a buying appointment for a brand that I can shop for and then I'm going to get my hair done which I'm very excited about because the girl has been looking rough. These edges have been on the ropes for some time now so we're going to sort it out and then this evening I have an event with Madeline again so I will bring you guys along with me. Today, gang. Guys, we are home. Uh, better view of the outfit. Yes, I need to put everything away. Um, I wore this trench from Studio Nicholson. 
today with my aloe vase sunglasses. Let me show you the rest of the outfit. And I wore it with this tank top from Little High Little Low. It's the Everlong tank. We just launched it a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's a super nice, like stretchy kind of sheen fabric. Um, with this Uniqlo cardigan, these Uniqlo trousers that have pockets, but they're like a soft jersey fabric. If you're looking for something similar, we actually have something from Little High Little Low called the Christine Pant, which is basically a very similar thing. Um, and I wore with my checkered vans. Cute outfit overall. I'm gonna eat some lunch and change because I got a little bit warm earlier. So I'm gonna like freshen up before I go out this evening. Guys, we have a package from Nip and Fab. This is exciting. I love vitamin C, super brightening. So it's a basically a super high performance vitamin C serum at a, quite an accessible price point. Let's see what we have here. Oh, so they've improved the formula. This is quite exciting. 5% vitamin C serum and vitamin C gel cream. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be nice in summer when it's warm and you want something a little bit lighter. I feel like they've updated their branding, which is really nice. I've actually never used their products before, so I'm really curious to try this. This is the cream. Vitamin C is really good for brightening the skin. It also helps with like hyperpigmentation. So if like me, you have a dark skin tone and you're prone to hyperpigmentation from breakouts, this is really gonna help. All right, friends, on the way to the Melon and Getz event. Let me show you the outfit. I'm wearing this panty bodysuit, which is the best bodysuit I've ever worn. Honestly, it doesn't dig in my hips or in the groin area. It's so comfy. Leather jacket from Little High Little Low. And this Marjada skirt and my checkerboard vans. My lipstick is the uh, Glossier G Suit in Jet, which I am a huge fan of. We just left Malin with our little gift bags. Oh. <laughs> None of us have the branding showing. We're terrible um, influencers. Malin and Gets. And now we're trying to find somewhere to take pictures because the light's really nice. So we're on Savile Row. <laughs> 